Hey everyone, welcome to Sir Inc.'s The Experience Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything kink. We only cater to adults 18 and above. So remember, this podcast is not safe for work, or as we like to say, NSF. You can always listen to us during your private time. Hello, kinky and kink curious folk out there. My name is Sir R, and today I'm going to discuss the difference between an alpha woman and a hardworking woman. And this is something that I've been noticing, um, you know, during my interactions with people and just looking at things online and in today's and in today's society. You know, there's a lot more women, uh, not just working, but in positions of power, positions of authority. And I think a lot of women now are just automatically saying that they're alpha females. And so I definitely think there's a difference between a hardworking woman and an alpha female. And I've discussed this thought, this theory with different uh, women of all different kinds of ethnic backgrounds and economic backgrounds, so on and so forth. And almost all of them agree that a hardworking woman is not necessarily an alpha female. As a matter of fact, that they're both very different women. And so I think what happens is today there's a lot of working women hardworking women and when I say hardworking they they actually may be, be in a managerial position and they tend to think that because they're in that position that they're alpha because they're giving out instructions or they're looked at as a leader and so on and so forth in, in these positions but um, I see a lot of hardworking women that would ma- that may consider themselves alpha but they're hard working because I mean not only does the job require it right but they also may not hold others as accountable as they should so they actually have people that work underneath of them who should be doing certain things uh, responsibilities so on and so forth but when they fall short the hard working woman will go and do the work for them or help them with their work where alpha woman more so demands excellence or just demands that their underlings handle their job and so um, that's what I've been getting um, those are some of the sentiments that I've gotten and, and, I, and I tend to agree with that because I've seen and I have dated a woman who was who considers herself to be an alpha female but honestly she's just a hard working woman and she's a good uh, a good woman, you know, it's just hard working, but she allows her job to consume her. And I think uh, a lot of alphas and, uh, you know, just speaking from having, you know, being an alpha male, alpha energy, you know, you tend to want to compartmentalize things and keep them there. And one of the main things uh, to maintain harmony in your home is to make sure that you shut the outside world out as much as you can and the first thing you have to shut out is work so i see a lot of hard working women who think they're alphas because they're in a managerial position and you know but they're bringing work home because someone didn't do their job or they're seeking some kind of validation from work or the work that they do instead of looking to get paid in advancement you know um, so that's what I come to find out. And an offshoot of that also is how do men today relate and date these alpha female types? How do we date these hard working women type? And I wrote a I wrote a short like uh, little poem about uh, a hard working woman that comes home and 
you know, she wants to get her day off her chest. And I say, you know, I, you know, I greet her, you know, when she comes in and I hug her. I make sure I give her a hug, make sure I let her talk. And people need it. They don't, they don't know how to decompress like everybody do. Some people let it consume them. And these hardworking women types, um, they will allow those things to consume them. Also, what I realized in when dating an alpha woman or interacting with an alpha woman is you don't want to get into a struggle for who's the boss. In the end, the dominant alpha male is the boss. But there's different ways of being a boss or a leader. And one of those ways is an alpha female that has submission in her will 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 sit will give herself to a man. Yet she still finds comfort in having control over certain things because that's what alphas do. We control stuff. We set tables and everybody else sits down and we maintain that table. We maintain order. And when you meet someone and you get involved with them, to say, yes, you submit to me, that's great. But to hand over everything is an uncomfortable position for anyone, for anyone that's worked hard, who's worked, who has a system that works efficiently for them. It's hard for you to say, give all that up just for what I'm talking about. But part of that as a dominant is to understand that submissive woman, that alpha woman, that alpha submissive woman is to understand her, understand where her wants and her needs are. Where are her sensitive spots, where her control is? She got to have control over this. You know, example, I was uh, talking to a, a friend of mine about us connecting and uh, she lives in another state. And I was saying, you know, we could meet to have dinner. She's like, you know, funny thing is I'll probably pay for dinner. And then she said, you know, she would pay for this, pay for that. And, you know, if um, if we were going to be together, you know, for the night, if we weren't going to go home, she probably paid for the room. And I said, okay, fine. I, I get that. You know, she's like, well, you know, I'm just, you know, an alpha woman. You know, I'm just used to doing things on my own, doing things. I was like, hey, baby, that's that's cool. Like, I don't even really have a problem with that. My only thing is this. If someone comes through that door to, to harm one of us or both of us, who's going to address that? Are you going to address that? Or am I going to address that? Because you can have all the control. You can buy all the things you want. But if you really bare knuckles can't stop someone from killing you or someone from harming you or the ones that you love and protect, if you don't have a response for that, um, then you cannot be the ultimate boss. But that's why you lean towards that alpha male, because you don't need him per se to do a lot of little things to overmanage you the way he might have to uh, and I won't say overmanage but manage another type of submissive you know like littles or brats you know you might have to do a little bit more hands on and when I mean hands on a little bit more maintenance when it comes to you know their attitude or you know how you deal with them alpha females are more self sufficient they're not really looking for you to manage anything they see you as a partner they understand that you that they are not underneath of you that they're on your side and that it's a true partnership and the role that she plays giving herself to you in the way in the fullest way that she can is what she has to offer you as the dominant I, as the dominant, need to understand what she has to offer and see, does that work for me? Can we, do I have a vision where as though we can make it to different levels? So, for example, an alpha female, the reason why she really seeks a dom out 
if she's going to engage with a, a, a male, she's seeking not to have to do everything. She doesn't want to have to manage anything. She wants to be comforted with you and she wants to know that you have it. And what it is, is a plan. You have a plan to show her something more. To keep her mind expanding. Not only sexually, not only in kink, but in every way. It's a true investment in a person's well-being. You want to grow this person. And, and growing that person through a DS relationship... A lot of wanting to grow people It's just to wanting to see them win Wanting to see them win With or without you Is a true testament Of who you are as a person Because if you really want the best for me And I want the best for you Nothing else really matters We'll do whatever it takes to see each other succeed Because deep down we feel as though We're both good people Or there's something that has us connected but I'm not going to really mess with anyone that I know wouldn't appreciate the blessing that I'm giving them by being in their life and being someone who's supportive in their life. So we as doms have to identify more of the difference of what an alpha female is and what a hardworking woman is. Along with all the other different mixes of, you know, women that's out here, right? And submissives. But these are good. These There's a lot of good women in all of these different um, types. And when you're a dom and you're single, or you're a dom with a mate and y'all may be looking for someone else, it's just important that you understand how to deal with this and deal with them. And we're in different times now. With different social rules and gender rules and all these different things. So it's how do you keep up with the changing times? And there's a lot of people who have turned their backs on relationships in general because it's just tough for alphas to coexist. And so it's also imperative to an alpha female to know when she has a real one, a real alpha male, and he is someone she can believe in, she too must know how to deal with that and know when to hold on and when to let go and how not to be combative when it comes to things. Um, there's always a negotiation. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you break even. But it's not a competition. It's it's whether it's a win or a fail, are we still progressing? Are we still moving forward? Maybe I don't agree with how you want to go in this direction in this particular area. But if I can see that really what you want is to get to the other side of that divide, then I'm fine with that. Now, if you want to just keep it divided or you want to stay stuck, I'm sorry, I can't be there with you. But if we are coming up with a plan that is for progression, I can ride with that opposed to let's do nothing. And there's a lot of people who are stuck in I'm doing nothing. And then they repeat those patterns. And so as I mature... Not only in life and also in the relationship game, I stand to look for more, not just connection, but do we have interests that are parallel with one another? Do we have interests that can help us both grow as individuals and together? Uh, and can we... And are we going to be riders, cheerleaders for one another? Do I want to see you win without me being on the podium with you and vice versa? Or do I want to see you win or do you want to see me win only if we can share the spotlight? And I think that's a question that a lot of people need to ask themselves. 
me personally, I don't care who's on the podium. I just want to see the people that I care about win. And I want to surround myself with those same type of people. Now, when it comes to my submissive, who I'm going to be involved with, absolutely, she needs to see me win. And she has to want to see me win. I do not ever want to be in a relationship like I was before where I was winning despite of my partner. That's horrible. And I know a lot of y'all are shaking your heads and yeah, y'all know. I know you know. A lot of women know. I know a lot of women have been doing winning despite their partners. And that's sad. But again, I'm single, so I don't have to settle for none of that nonsense. And I will never settle for any of that nonsense again. But you have to live it to get it. And this is just my little my little thing on uh, alpha females and hardworking women. We love them all. I love them all. I love you all. Uh, but I just think what a, a lot of what's being missed today is we're not discussing the nuances of relating in today's world and also okay we all know the problems but how are we going to solve it and I'm not worried about solving it for everybody I'm worried about solving it for myself selfishly first but I wish to share because the only way that we all can grow is if we share ideas and if we share our thoughts and our dreams and we can grow from that and from other people's um, experiences and thoughts as well because when I have these when I do these podcasts I have run these things by my friends and these males and females and they hear their perspective and then I bring it to you guys it just makes you a better person it just makes you a more rounded person and then people when you're talking about Think they just think you're a little bit more knowledgeable. They think you, but I am just a sum of all my peers. I'm a sum of all the people who have sewn into me. And I just think that it's important that we share information because it's about health. Healthy relationships is one thing that I'm a proponent for. And um, so that's what I'm sharing. So I hope you enjoyed this um, short podcast. Um, but it's just to get the conversation going I would love to get some feedback and do a part two because this is I know this is only going to be part one because I want to know how do you feel about alpha females and hardworking women are they both the same or are they very different and if they're different and we most people agree that they're different how is it different to you are you a hardworking woman thinking you're an alpha female? Is that something that you have to consider? Maybe. But give me your feedback. I love to hear it. Thank you for listening. This is Sarah All. Thank you. Quite an experience, wasn't it? Tune in again for a fresh release of Sir Inc.'s The Experience Podcast. I hope y'all enjoyed today's chat. We'd love to hear your experiences and your feedback. Do email us at sirinq at sirinq.com. You can also follow us on sirinq on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Kingspace.